Hi, I'm Richard and I am buzzing because just this week I got another student into UCL's MSc Business Analytics, which is exactly why I love my job. This student puts our success rate for this course over the last five years up to 88%. Now that is 12 times the just 7% acceptance rate for other candidates who don't work with us on this course. Today, I'm going to be giving insights into a few of the magic tips that help get our success rate so high to help you out. But of course, if you are looking for the best, then work with one of myself or my amazing network to increase your chances. Now, this course requires a high to one. It's very rare that courses specify a high to one. That means realistically they're looking for a first or near a first or a UK equivalent. UCL's website's really, really good, probably the best I've seen for translating the UK qualifications, which let's face it, can be a bit confusing, into your home country if you're applying from outside the UK. So do check out on their website what that means for you. But this is one of the harder courses to get into at UCL, which makes sense because UCL has really made a name for itself in the last few years for data science, statistics, and moving into more technological subjects. Good job, UCL. And you can benefit from employers noticing that and getting a fantastic degree to help you kickstart your career. Now, talking of that, this is a highly quantitative subject, so you must have a 2-1 in a subject which had a large mathematical component. In addition, they have a strong preference for some sort of coding knowledge. We'll talk about that in one of our tips. And you have to have less than three years of work experience. So there's a lot of pitfalls to make sure that you avoid before you apply to this course. Tip number one for UCL's MSc Business Analytics is a little bit strange. Do not use their application portal of 3,000 characters. Now, this applies for all of the UCL MSc courses. You have the option to have a very limited 3,000 character entry, or you can upload your own document. They ask for it to not be more than two pages. Why limit yourself? More than that, I've seen on the very old computer system that UCL uses what that looks like on their end, and it's just unformatted text, which just makes it really hard to understand your strengths. No, use your own document for your own personal statement. You've got more words. I recommend 800 to 1,200 words for this, but it's absolutely fine to have 800 and keep it really succinct, as long as you hit our five pillars, which you can see linked in our How to Ace Your Personal Statement video linked in the description below. Now, tip number two for this course is learn Python or another coding language. It isn't a hard requirement of the course, but it is expected. And with that 7% acceptance rate, you can bet that the people who got in, like the student I helped just this last week, did have some fantastic experience. Now, if you don't have Python experience now, that's fine. Today, you are not the candidate you will be when you apply have a growth mindset, you can self-teach yourself something, anything. You could do a Coursera course or self-learning, talk about your learning, show that you're trying to learn and educate yourself, and that will make you stand out to UCL and give you a huge advantage over other candidates. Now, tip number three probably doesn't surprise you. It is a strong quantitative knowledge. There are lots of ways to show that you love maths, but particularly the application of statistical techniques or data visualization in this case. Now, having a really high quant GMAT score would be great, even if you don't require GMAT for this course, it's quite likely that you might be applying for LBS's uh, data analytics course, their MAM, Masters in Analytics and Management, which almost always does require the GMAT, unless you're one of the few who works with us and might be able to get a waiver for that course. Now, there are way uh, many other ways for you to uh, prove your mathematical knowledge. One great way to prove your mathematical knowledge is to do additional courses. Now, Johns Hopkins puts their course on Coursera in business analytics. How good would it be if you sound like you've already done the first couple of weeks of the UCL course? There's many other ones, just to mention one. University of Pennsylvania is currently offering quantitative analysis for financial analysts. Again, showing that you are self-studying these courses shows that you are a strong candidate. 
And of course it does, because you are making yourself stronger than other candidates by investing in yourself and showing how you are going to use a fantastic UCL degree to keep investing in yourself and stand out from the crowd. Now, this is just three of 42 tips that we have for this course. I'm going to give you a couple more in this video, but the best way to get all of the tips and maximize your chance is, of course, to work with our premium services. More about that at the end of the video. If you're liking it so far, please do like and subscribe. It really helps us to keep on investing in these videos and to help give more of these tips to you. Now, tip number four is be prepared for the semi-technical Kira Prep interview. Now, Kira Prep, if you haven't used it, is a pre-recorded video interview software. So you won't have a face-to-face -face or be on Zoom with a real person interview. You will instead get asked some questions and then it will cut to blank and you are just left staring at your screen. This can be rather disconcerting and off-putting, so it's so important to practice. At the very least, get onto Zoom or Teams or have some record you ask a question and turn off your camera and get used to talking into the void. It's quite tricky and a bit of a skill, but they have AI which checks how positive you are being um, before a human even goes and looks at whether to assess you. Now I say semi-technical because they ask questions such as um, explain machine learning to us. That's quite tricky with 30 seconds of prep time, even someone who has quite a good understanding of what machine learning is. So we have amassed a question bank of now over 250 past Kira Prep questions for this course. There's a few on the excellent Kira Prep blog that we've written on our website, but the best way again is to work with us to unlock all of these. There's also gonna be a linked Kira Prep interview tip video that you can check out straight after watching this one. Now, my last step, tip for this one is university-specific research. Pick your electives. There's some fantastic electives which will allow you to really lay out in your career plan how those electives will help you. Remember, it's not just why you're good for this course, but you need to start with UCL that this course is brilliant for you as well and have a really, really good fit. So that's just five of the very many tips that we have. I'm buzzing because I love helping students get offers and I really help, hope that this video can help you to get an offer and dance around your living room as well in the near future. Please do comment if you would like to have any specific questions. I try and get back to all comments on these videos to help people out. As I said before, like and subscribe really helps us out. There's also an exemplar personal statement and how to use my five pillars of a personal statement linked in the description below, as well as a YouTube video on how to uh, ace your personal statement. Lastly, if you would like to work with an ex-admission staff or a professional university consultant such as myself, please do contact us using the information on the screen now. We'd love to help you achieve your dreams too. Most importantly, good luck.